damn. Oh, it's called Lobber's Battle. I guess that makes sense. Let's try that. Okay, and then that'll mean that we only have to deal with three bombs in this round. But I won't be able to destroy another guy in, an, in a single turn. But I might be able to heal myself. Because let's hope that he can, yeah, he can just go through one. That's the end of it. Okay, then we just gotta take one. I love that they talk about how, like, they're... Like, making mods for this game. That's so fun. Oh, he won't attack because those guys are in a line with him. So I should have been shooting that guy way sooner. Got it. Heck yeah. Let's do the last one. Early skirmish. You gotta go. And then this will just keep giving me more of these. And then they're going to each swing at me. And that'll kill me. So maybe we need to instead buff up. Because I don't want him to take these guys out. Let's try that. Because what I want is for him to be able to survive one turn. Hmm. Well, they're killing me less, but only so much that it can be done about that. So instead, let's scorch this dude. Mm, they can survive one. Hmm. Let's take you down. That'll be enough to instant kill that dude. Cool. This might end up getting me killed. Yeah, nothing could be done. Okay. So instead of healing him, we'll, we will instead... Because he can take the hits. 
So instead of even bothering to heal him, we'll just let him take the hit. And we'll destroy him. And then that'll give us six. So we just need everyone to meet shield. That was my problem. Might have been stupid, actually, now that I'm sitting here. Yes, that was stupid. This is cool, though. It's like a little puzzle zone. That's it. very interesting. Plus, I just get a chance to do some combat. I feel like they realized, like, oh man, because no one wants to kill anyone. Like, we're gonna run into a little problem where, like... Because no one wants to kill anyone, because it's possible to do so much of this game without that, people are gonna be disappointed. They don't want to, you know? Oh, that was really stupid of you. You should have confirmed the kill. I do kind of wish that I could have a bit more of a party going on sometimes, but then the difficulty of this game would get so much bigger, you know? Like, because if they need to, uh, like, calculate for... Prevailed. Wow, you're really good. Getting good at what was the only way to keep my brother from loading it over me all the time. We should give you some prize. Uh, I've got some leftover guns from when I was gluing the figurines. You want them? Sure. I'll stop playing around. Sugar guns and peppermint drops. So what's new on here exactly? Oh, just Ray Bean's house. Okay, cool. Peppermint drops. Item drop bonus. Sugar guns, range damage, a bunch of really small guns. <laughs> they could also be used to outfit a small army of elves. Rule books, study them. You pour over the rules uh, until you realize they're for a different game. You notice a book that doesn't belong here. Intermediate next max. Stove is sad, neglected. See, the problem is that I... The guy's noodling around. Not into the game? I like games, but I've gotten bored of strategy war games. I want something different. I like playing the guitar, so I was thinking of a guitar game. Where you pretend you're in a band and have to hit the right chords. That sounds hard if you don't know how to play guitar. I thought I'm making a simplified version of a guitar, but it wouldn't be fun for me. I have an idea. Why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place looking for talent. Put my guitar skills to use? Not a bad idea. Jewel Saloon and Dewwater. Tell them I sent you. Thanks a bunch. I'll head out now. I'm Arizona. Hi, I'm Jeff. You like this game? It's pretty fun. Working on some rule mods for naval combat so we can do older wars, like Conquistadors and Vikings. Conquistadors versus Vikings would be cool. I know, right? How'd you get into this? I have a lot of free time to read on my job, so I read a lot of history. When I saw a flatter for a historical reenactment, I thought it was interesting. They quit doing real enactment, real reenactments by the time I joined, but this is pretty good too. Painting the figurines gives me something else to do at work. Heidi, I'm Ernie. What's this kinetoscope reel you're talking about? You haven't seen the Dickinson experimental sound film yet? It's amazing. It's two guys dancing while a third guy plays a violin into a huge cone, and you can hear the violin. And then a fourth guy walks in. What does he do? Nothing. That's when it ends. Pretty good. How's the game going? Pretty good. We're on a winning streak. If we'd been in charge of the of the army when the real war happened, things might have gone differently. Probably the real unit was uh probably the real war was a lot more unbalanced in terms of unit allotments. Good point. Yeah, that's the thing. Mom made Rufus stop bringing that Van Asoto when he didn't didn't string for four days, sleep for four days, and started yammering about putting our cat in a box to see if it was alive or not. Arizona. Hi, I'm Buddy. So do you like this game? It's good. I prefer the science fiction's versions though. 
It's real interesting. It has vehicles that move without horses. <laughs> Guns that fire more than once without before reloading. Well, that sounds really Imba. Imba is short for imbalanced. It's a word that is, I think, basically only used to complain on forums about imbalance in a game you play. How'd you get into this? I was in the actual war. Made it out with only a few scars and a limp, fortunately, on account of the oh, spent the whole thing hiding in the cave. When I heard about reenactments, I signed up to find out what I missed. This is probably not a whole like what you missed. Yeah, better snacks for one. That's pretty funny. <laughs> He's muttering about line of sight. I am Mike. You take this game seriously. Well, of course, you gotta play to win. Otherwise, what's the point? Having fun? Exactly. And winning is how you do that. I do... I get that. I get it, you know? <laughs> you have an LOS issues? Uh, yeah, they don't let me tape measure the board uh, when it isn't my turn anymore, so I have to eyeball it. You could get a hit on a front guy. He has partial cover. I think he means soft cover. Oh, you're playing fourth edition. Uh, yeah. Third edition was total kludge. Man, you and my brother would be bitter enemies. I've not had this argument. I've never heard the term soft cover before. But I have I have had a I have had fights like this in the past. Okay. We've already done that part. Nice view. Use the binos. We found Reboot Hill. You climb down the watchtower and pitch the binoculars into a nearby trash can. Keep Fort Memorial beautiful. Yep, I was right. Fort full of nerds. Hell of a chess game they got going on. It's not totally unlike chess, but the war metaphor is less metaphorical. You don't need a tape measure for chess. It looks complicated. My brother took a correspondence choice in Juris' prudence to improve his rules debating technique. <laughs> he would have been right at home here. Vampiric Yodel. This mid-tier Nexmex textbook teaches you how to replenish your blood supply by stealing blood from the living. Keeping enough blood inside you is important. Two necromancers and civvies alike. So I know for a fact that certain... Hmm. I know for a fact that certain books will get people to leave the party. I think I remember reading that, though. I, I haven't found anything about it. Doc Alice will disapprove of it. Okay. Is it just Doc Alice? Because I'm I'm walking around with Susie Cochran, right? Because if that's the case, then I want to read them. It's pretty dangerous. Yes. It's your funeral. Whatever, Grandma. Raise skeletal buddy. The words crawl off the page and into your eyes like worms. The worms burrow into your bones and whisper stuff to you about cool things you can do with other people's bones. As you turn the last page, the book vanishes into a book of a puff of smoke. Oh god, that's terrible. Pretty dangerous. Dark arts are no laughing matter. Read it, I said. Grin skull. You don't feel so well. Ugh. Your hair loses its color. You get a perk. White hair. So this is another thing that I like about this. I wasn't able to really... Like, I, I had a... I, I couldn't really use this because you, at some point, get a debuff to Moxie. Um... Yeah. I did, um... I think cow... I think I've done cow puncher and I've done the other one, but... White hair, minus three moxie. Moxie determines how much damage your pistol attacks do and how much damage you do when you get shot. If a ranged attack would do three damage, but your moxie is one higher than the goblins, you'll do four instead. Your hair has gone prematurely white due to your meddling in the affairs of the netherworld. I kind of wish that I had white hair in real life. Though I could probably get it with, you know. So, uh, even less moxie now. Which is... That means we might be able to do negative damage. Vampiric Yodel, you don't feel so well. We got emaciated. Minus three muscle. Da Gaunt and bony as a result of the dark arts you've been messing with. So the thing is, is that ordinarily you need, um, 
Muscle and Moxie for the other two classes. But the thing is, if you pick the other two classes and then you put a significant investment into Mysticality, you'll be doing so at a big loss for mis for XP. But, uh, Yodelehi Boo. AP cost one, we steal five HP. We can double that later. Grinning Skull will deal 10 spook damage. Skulls are scary and ghosts are scary, so you know it would be double scary? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's that's not even that funny. In fact, skeletal buddy, uh, examine skeleton bones in your inventory to enchant them. Aye, that's why we've been keeping all those around. Um, sorry, I thought I heard my kitty cat complaining. Skull chips. So I guess this isn't a... So I do have these. Ensorcel it. Uh, you carve some writing gly writhing glyphs onto the bone with your pen knife and hiss black words to them. The bone shivers, eager, eager to please. The bone shivers, eager to please. I've certainly got a bone that's eager to please. What else? Does the teeth work? That'd be kind of creepy. I guess that'd be like a Cadmus thing, right? That was the Greek dude who... um. Hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, Cadmus was the Greek guy who, like, tossed dragon bones into the ground. That was weird. Sorry, I had a really long hair that was coming out of my beard. I'm pretty sure it was just tangled from my hair to my beard, but... Reboot Hill. That sounds fun. Ooh, yes! Holy shit. Uh, 28 spooky damage. 28 hot damage. That did a lot of damage. 41. That is... Let's give it a shot. Skeletal Buddy. Let's armor up. Let's heal myself. He did 41 last time, so if he's going to do 41 every turn, then... I don't know. Hmm. Mysticality goes up by 10. We're already going to deal 28 to him. Let's get another summon going. Let's get the mysticality up, and then we'll do two attacks. Each one will do 38 hot damage. Okay. I'm glad that he was able to take the hit for me. I might not have needed the, um... I might not have needed him, because I could have used Susie to lasso him. El Vibrato Scraps. Nice. Reboot. Oh, like boot hell. <laughs> also like the phrase boot heel. Like the heel of a boot. Hmm. Alright. Plot one. You see the ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and oppressed above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. Howdy, ma'am. Something I can help you with? Oh, it's so awful. I can't remember it all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys. After that, they have five daughters of their own. I lived uh, every one of the 24 of them. No, you're a ghost, right? Oh, yes. I died here in this graveyard where they're all buried. I came to visit them. My poor heart gave out. It's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run, after all. I bought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave. I can't remember which one was my favorite. <laughs> I'm so ashamed I can't bear to leave till I've remembered. Well, maybe I can help you. The granddaughter. Her first name ended in a vowel. I was 40. 
Somewhere between 37 and 42. Her first name was longer than her last, just like mine. Anything else? She wasn't buried next to the daughters. She passed the same age as poor Becky, who was in ill health. She knitted. She knitted a lovely sort of her crimbo. Recall crimbo is the non-denominational loathing equivalent of Christmas. That's all I can remember. Be back in a moment. Pamela. That ends in... That ends in an A. That's a vowel. She's buried next to Becky. Pearl. Penultimate Becky. Oh, God. There's multiple Beckys. Little Becky and... Leslie, Penelope, Patricia, First Becky, <laughs> Paula, Lenore, Leilani, Linda, Faye. Okay, so it's not you, because you don't end a vowel. Meredith, Mezzo. Maybe this is it. H is not a vowel. Y is arguably not a vowel. H is still not a vowel. A is a vowel. E is a vowel. Mezzo Becky. Margaret, Madeline. Faye, Fiona. You uncover a coffin apparently delivered by mail because it still has the address printed on it. Either this was a joke or... Either that or this was a joke about someone going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. Hmm. 